Chili Pepper Chili pepper or capsicum plants originated in modern-day Bolivia and have been a part of human diets since about 7500 BC. They are one of the oldest cultivated crops in the Americas. Origins of cultivating chili peppers are traced to East Central Mexico some 6,000 years ago. Hi everyone, welcome back into my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. In today's video we are going to learn the history of chili peppers. Chili peppers are varieties of the berry fruit of plants from the genus Capsicum, which are members of the nightshade family Solanaceae, cultivated for their pungency. Chili peppers are widely used in many cuisines as a spice to add heat to dishes. Capsaicin and related compounds known as capsaicinoids are the substances giving chili peppers their intensity when ingested or applied topically. Other varieties of capsicum include bell peppers, Chili peppers originated in Bolivia and have been a part of human diets since about 7500 BC, and were first cultivated in Mexico. After the Colombian exchange, many cultivars of chili pepper spread around the world, used for both food and traditional medicine. This led to a wide variety of cultivars, including the annuum species, with its Glabria sculum variety and New Mexico cultivar group, and the species of Bacotum, Genensei, Frutescens, and Pubescens. Peru has the highest variety of cultivated capsicum diversity because it is a center of diversification where varieties of all five domesticates were introduced, grown, and consumed in pre-Columbian times. When Christopher Columbus and his crew reached the Caribbean, they were the first Europeans to encounter capsicum. They called them peppers because, like black pepper of the genus Piper known in Europe, they have a spicy, hot taste unlike other foods. Chili peppers spread to Asia through its introduction by Portuguese traders, who, aware of its trade value and resemblance to the spiciness of black pepper, promoted its commerce in the Asian spice trade routes. It was introduced in India by the Portuguese towards the end of the 15th century. In 21st century Asian cuisine, chili peppers are commonly used across diverse regions. There are five domesticated species of chili peppers. Capsicum annuum includes many common varieties such as bell peppers, wax, cayenne, jalapenos, Thai peppers, chiltpin, and all forms of New Mexico chili. Capsicum frutescens includes Malagueta, Tabasco, Piri Piri, and Malawi and Kambuzi. Capsicum chinense includes the hottest peppers such as the Naga, Abanero, Daddle and Scotch Bonnet. Capsicum pubescens includes the South American Rocoto peppers. Capsicum bacotum includes the South American Ahi peppers. The substances that give chili peppers their pungency spicy heat, when ingested or applied topically are capsaicin, 8-methyl and vanillyl 6 nonanamide, and several related chemicals, collectively called capsaicinoids. The quantity of capsaicin varies by variety, and on growing conditions. Water-stressed peppers usually produce stronger pods. When a habanero plant is stressed, by absorbing low water for example, the concentration of capsaicin increases in some parts of the fruit. When peppers are consumed by mammals such as humans, capsaicin binds with pain receptors in the mouth and throat, potentially evoking pain via spinal relays to the brainstem and thalamus where heat and discomfort are perceived. The intensity of the heat of chili peppers is commonly reported in Scoville Heat Units SHU, invented by American pharmacist Wilbur Scoville in 1912. Historically, it was a measure of the dilution of an amount of chili extract added to sugar syrup before its heat becomes undetectable to a panel of tasters. The more it has to be diluted to be undetectable, the more powerful the variety, and therefore the higher the rating. 
Capsaicin is produced by the plant as a defense against mammalian predators and microbes, in particular a fusarium fungus carried by hemipteran insects that attack certain species of chili peppers, according to one study. Peppers increase the quantity of capsaicin in proportion to the damage caused by fungal predation on the plant's seeds. Chili pepper pods are, technically, berries. When used fresh, they are most often prepared and eaten like a vegetable. Whole pods can be dried and then crushed or ground into chili powder that is used as a spice or seasoning. Chilies can be dried to prolong their shelf life. Chili peppers can also be preserved by brining, immersing the pods in oil, or by pickling. Many Mexican dishes, including variations on chilies rellenos, use the entire chili. Dried whole chilies may be reconstituted before grinding to a paste. The chipotle is the smoked, dried, ripe jalapeno. In the northern Mexican states of Sinaloa and Sonora, chilpin peppers, a wild pepper, are used in cheeses and soups to add spiciness to dishes. In southern Mexico, mole sauce is used with dried chilies, such as ancho and chipotle peppers. Chilies are used in salsas. Mexican households usually grow chili plants to use in cooking. In India, most households always keep a stock of fresh hot green chilies at hand and use them to flavor most curries and dry dishes. It is typically lightly fried with oil in the initial stages of preparation of the dish. Some states in India, such as Rajasthan, make entire dishes only by using spices and chilies. Chili is a staple fruit in Bhutan. Bhutanese call this crop emma. The emadachi recipe is entirely made of chili mixed with local cheese. The chemical in chili peppers that makes them hot, is used as an analgesic in topical ointments, nasal sprays, and dermal patches to relieve pain. Capsaicin extracted from chilies is used in pepper sprays and some tear gas formulations as a chemical irritant, for use as less lethal weapons for control of unruly individuals or crowds. Such products have considerable potential for misuse, and may cause injury or death. Birds do not have the same sensitivity to capsaicin, because it targets a specific pain receptor in mammals. Chili peppers are eaten by birds living in the chili pepper's natural range, possibly contributing to seed dispersal and evolution of the protective capsaicin in chili peppers, as a bird in flight can spread the seeds further away from the parent plant after they pass through its digestive system than any land or tree-dwelling mammal could do so under the same circumstances, thus reducing competition for resources. Some peppers are so pungent that the farmer needs to wear gloves to avoid the skin on their hands from becoming blistered. The irritant effect of chili peppers is used as a mask for pain from conditions such as rheumatism and nerve pain. Medicines such as these are known as counter-irritants and there are several containing extracts of chili. As well as playing an essential role in South Asian food chilies have entered superstitions and rites, particularly in the south of India. The potency of chilies is firmly believed to have a supernatural element. It is customary to hang a few chilies with a lemon over the threshold of a residence to deter evil. Chilies are also used to ward off the evil eye. A handful of chilies together with other condiments such as curry leaves and a little ash from the hearth is waved over a person's head to create a shield against curses and bad spells. Chilies are the cheapest vegetables available in India and so are eaten across all groups of people. The daily meal of many Indian laborers commonly consists of a few chilies with Indian unleavened bread, called rotas, or rice. Chili pepper remedies in medicinal doses it has a reputation for stimulating the gut and helping digestion, causing a burning sensation in the mouth and increasing the flow of saliva. It is reputed to stimulate the heart, skin, kidneys and nervous system and to act as an aphrodisiac. 
it has been given for a number of conditions such as in some forms of delirium, for seasickness, malarial and other fevers, gout, constipation and hemorrhoids. It has also been used for alleviating uterine and other internal bleeding, and when combined with a plant called Nux vomica, a source of strychnine botanically known as Strychnos Nux vomica, it has been used for digestive disorders, chronic diarrhea and colic, and has been used in chronic alcoholism. The snuff has been used to treat hay fever. The whole plant cooked in milk has been applied to reduce swellings and hardened tumors. Chili powder has been used in India to apply to dog bites. All parts of chili peppers and ornamental cultivars, particularly the fruits are potentially toxic in external use. The oleoresin is strongly irritant to eyes, tender skin and mucous membranes and contact of capsaicin with eyes may cause eye disorders such as corneal abrasions. Side effects of chili or capsaicin, when applied to the skin, may include a burning sensation. Contact dermatitis has been reported following direct handling of chili peppers containing capsaicin. Chronic occupational exposure to chili peppers, C. Anum, may result in an increase in coughing.